Have you ever wondered why we exist? Why there's something rather than nothing? These are no ordinary questions. They are profound inquiries that have intrigued the finest minds in history. Today, we're going to explore these ideas through the insightful perspective of Will Durant's masterpiece, The Story of Philosophy. We'll dive into the depths of thought, examining the mysteries of existence, and the wisdom that has shaped our understanding of the world. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this philosophical journey. In the beginning, there was thought, and in the realm of thought, a name that rings loud and clear is Plato. Plato, an ancient philosopher of great intellect, brought forth ideas that changed the course of thinking forever. One of his most profound theories was the theory of forms. He proposed that the world we perceive is not the real world but merely a shadow of the truth. The true essence of things, their forms, exist in an abstract realm of perfect concepts. Then, there's Plato's concept of the ideal state. He envisioned a society ruled not by kings or politicians, but by philosophers, those who question, understand and contemplate. In Plato's ideal state wisdom leads the way, not power or wealth. A society where the guardians of the state are philosophers, individuals committed to truth and justice. So Plato had us questioning the very nature of reality itself, but the philosophical journey was just beginning. Next, we encounter a man who dared to question everything. This audacious character is none other than the French philosopher, René Descartes. Known as the father of modern philosophy, Descartes introduced a method of radical doubt. He challenged every belief, every knowledge, every truth he once held dear. Descartes questioned everything until he reached a point where he could doubt no more. His famous conclusion, I think, therefore I am, emerged from this abyss of skepticism. This statement, simple yet profound, became the bedrock of his philosophy. Descartes' method of radical doubt was not merely an exercise in philosophical navel-gazing, it was a call to arms to question our beliefs, to challenge our assumptions, and to not take anything for granted. Through this, he underscored the essence of human existence, our ability to think, to question, to doubt. Descartes teaches us the power of doubt and the importance of questioning our own beliefs. Now let's turn to a philosopher who believed that happiness is the highest good. Meet Epicurus, a man of simple pleasures who championed the philosophy of hedonism. Born in ancient Greece, he taught that life's primary goal should be to maximize pleasure and minimize pain. But don't get it twisted, Epicurus wasn't advocating for wild parties and extravagant luxuries. Instead, he believed in the pursuit of intellectual pleasures and the enjoyment of simple things in life, like a good meal with friends or a captivating book. He promoted a life of tranquility, free from fear and pain. Epicurus also advised us to limit our desires and to live modestly, as an insatiable appetite for more only leads to dissatisfaction. His philosophy invites us to find contentment in the now, in the quiet moments, and in the joys that are within our reach. Epicurus reminds us that sometimes, the pursuit of happiness is the most philosophical act of all. So, where does all this philosophical musing leave us? Well, we've journeyed together through the mystery of existence, the dawn of thought, the skeptic's challenge and the pursuit of happiness. Along the way, we've explored the minds of philosophers who've shaped our understanding of the world and ourselves within it. These philosophical ideas aren't just dusty relics from the past, they're living, breathing concepts that continue to shape our world today. They influence everything from the laws that govern our societies to the personal values that guide our actions. Let's take a moment to appreciate how the questions posed by philosophers centuries ago still resonate with us. Questions about our purpose, our place in the world, and what it means to live a good life. These aren't just idle curiosities, they're fundamental to our human experience. But philosophy isn't a spectator sport. It's a call to action. A challenge to examine our beliefs, question our assumptions, and engage with the world in a thoughtful and informed way. And the future of philosophy? That's in our hands. As we move forward, we have the opportunity to apply these lessons in our daily lives, to use them as a compass, guiding our actions and decisions. So next time you find yourself pondering the mysteries of existence, remember, you're in good company. Because philosophy isn't just about thinking deep thoughts, it's about living a thoughtful life.